Hi all, welcome to the channel Cloud Knowledge. Today in this video, we'll study a simple scenario wherein the input data set we have to add an extra row. So example here is shown on the left side for the input data set where we have two columns product ID and product name that is product and in the output data set we want to add this extra row that is this third row wherein the product ID will have this hard coded value as one and the product will have the value as blank okay so how we are going to accomplish this in Azure Data Factory we will demonstrate in this video so let's go to the data factory here and create a pipeline so let's create a new pipeline let's name this as add row and then we have to use the data flow activity so take data flow in the canvas and name it as data flow add row and this is our data flow so the source we have already placed the file the csv file having the same data set as shown here in the excel sheet so i'll show you inside cloud knowledge gen 2 storage account inside the containers test input folder i have this products input data.csv which is having the data of product id and product name okay so we will try to connect to this file okay so we'll go back here in the edf and we'll click on add source and here we'll connect to the data set it's inside the data lake storage into account select that it's a csv delimited text so we'll click over it and click continue we'll mark the name of the data set let's say add row input data link service we have to our storage gen2 account so we'll check that and file path we have to browse to the test input folder the file name is product input data first row is having header so we'll check this and then click ok now we'll go to the data preview and since the data flow debug option is already enabled we'll click on refresh so here the data appeared product id and product okay now our job is to get the third row okay so in order to get that particular row one row what we can do is we can filter out one of the row from the input data set that is the source data set and then we can use derived column to add those two hard-coded values why we have to filter i'll tell you because that derived column logic will apply to that particular row because we have to add one row okay if we are not filtering we are directly applying the derived column transformation then all the rows will become that hard-coded row so let me show you so if you attach directly the derived column transformation and you select product id what we have to make it as one and product as blank so we have to create this new column having the value one okay why in single quotes because it is coming as string because the source is csv okay now we'll click on plus sign and we'll add another column which is product uh, product right and we have to give it as blank again in single quotes okay else it will give error now this is done if you go to the data preview directly here you'll see yeah so here product id product it is giving two rows as one one blank blank why because the original source data is having two rows okay and our job is to make or to add a single row which is having this value one and blank so that's why we will add here right after the source a filter transformation so let's add filter so the filter is present under the row modifier section filter and we will filter on any of the id so let's take open any of the id we can take so let's open the expression builder and take product id 
equals to if we go back here we have 55 112 so we'll take 55 and again it should be written in single quotes yep here we do not have equal to sign it is equal equal to okay so that it will equate this is equal okay now we'll save and finish so this will do filtering of record that is one record is fetched now from the source which is having the product id as 55 okay yep now we'll go again to the derive column and click on refresh And now we can see a single row produced here. Okay, so we have got through this mapping one row which is to be added to the original source. Now we will add another source, the same source again, so that the data from the first flow could be added to the second. Okay, so we'll add again the source and we will select the same data set. So for the first source, the data set name was add row input data. So we'll go back here to the source 2 and from the drop down we will select add row input data. Okay, select that and in the data preview we could, we could see the same data. Yep, we got the same data and here we got the extra row. Here we got the two rows coming from the source. Now our job is to union them. Okay, so that they both combine together. So we'll attach union transformation. Okay, which comes under the multiple inputs output section. So we'll select union here and the incoming stream is source 2. Source 2 which is having the original data from the source and in the and in the union we will attach it to derive column 1 output right. Here we got the extra row which is to be added here in the derive column transformation in the union transformation we have the income uh, incoming stream which is to which is the stream to which it is attached and then we have the union with stream okay so the union with stream will be derived column one the output which is present in the derived column one transformation so select that union by we are doing it with name only in this case so we will go and now check the data preview so now you could see the two rows from the source and the third row which we have created through filter and derive column transformation added okay with the help of union transformation now we can land the data into our sink okay that is the destination let's connect to the destination inside the same storage gen 2 as a csv and we name this as add row output link service same link service first row is having header and this time we'll add it inside test output folder click ok click ok and we'll go to the settings and here we have the file name option so we will output it to a single file and enable the set single partition and then name the file so we'll name the file as add row output dot csv okay so this is done and now we can validate the mapping publish the changes so publishing is in progress and then we'll go to the pipeline Publishing completed and in the pipeline we will go for a debug run. So here the data flow is in progress, the status is in progress. Let's wait for its completion and in the meantime we can go here and inside the containers we'll go to the test output folder and wait for the file to arrive here. Okay. So Let's wait for the data flow to finish. 
So it succeeded in 52 seconds. We'll go here in the test output. We'll click on refresh and we could see the file add row output dot csv is generated. Let's click over it. Click on edit preview and we could see the data in the csv. Okay. So we had two rows. We wanted to add one extra row with some hard coded values and we achieved this using data flow. Okay. So what we did is we added the source twice. In one of the source, we added filter transformation so that we get or we filter out one single row and then add a derived column transformation to add that extra row logic. Okay. So here it was hard coded value. So we gave it in the expression. Then in the other source, we use union transformation and the data coming from the original source. We unionized it with the data we got from the above flow. Okay. And added it into the target. So this was a very simple demo on a simple scenario in Dataflow. Hope you have understood it. Thank you for watching the video. Happy learning. Bye.